Like, did you know going in how your character was going to turn out, or how did that work? No, I had no idea going in how my character was going to turn out. Nobody had any idea when I auditioned for it what they were going to do with Ty. I auditioned for it. Michael Reimer was casting. Uh, he directed the miniseries, as you know, and after I was cast, we worked together on creating the arc of Ty. Not the arc, but the personality of Ty. Uh, are you happy with how it's all turned out? Oh yeah, I'm more than happy. I'm so proud of the work that we all did on Battlestar Galactica, and there never will be another Battlestar Galactica. So say we all. Robert. Oh, Robert Redmond. Yeah. And um, I just lost the contact. <laughs> Sorry. Here. Did you seriously? Or is that part of your act? Try these. No, no, part no seriously. So, but that's fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so. Okay. So. All right. Comic book review Ooh. time. The name of the book. Does anyone know? Or do I have to be the guy? All Star Superman. Superman. Yeah. It was Would awesome. You? Okay. No, it wasn't. Actually, I didn't. Enjoy you didn't it like it? No, I didn't at all. Sorry, well, I would say I've offended two of you. Okay. We were gonna, whoa, three of you, whoa, whoa. Okay, before you get to that, can I just give a little setup for the audience? Sure, please. Well, tell everyone who Superman is first. Man but, of Tomorrow, last son of Krypton, Kello. Thank you, George. In my opinion, it's my favorite Superman story of the past since I've been alive. No, but no, this is an amazing Superman story. It it's is. really well done, but this is a grab for an Academy Award. This is, if you don't know Superman, you don't know the history of Superman, you're not going to like this book. This is a book that was tailor-made for comic, what are we, nerds or geeks now? No, I can't no, even remember. Losers. Why, why, the, why was it tailor-made? Wait, wait, because, you know, I gotta exactly say... Exactly what Michael just said. This was somewhere where they took all this great history. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. The thing is, We're though, not at home. Wait, wait no, George. <laughs> I gave it to people in the audience before the episode. And they're all like, dude, man, the comic was awesome. But that's because of Frank Quietly's art. The Yo art? Yo no. Read all 16, no, 13, no. 14, art what is it, nine issues? Okay. It's so, okay, BJ. It's one of the best the books I've ever read. Good. You thought the art was good? I okay. thought the art was really good. This was one of the very few comics I, I really liked. Really? The art is great. Mm -hmm. The... The fact that basically Lex Luthor, he finally finds a way to kind of beat Superman, right? Yes. Like, I can't, there's nothing I can create besides kryptonite. There's like the only thing that can really beat him. But what if I tap, he taps into something that's the source of his energy, but he kind of Over is him. overexposed to it. And it was like, wow, Superman, you are I the think, strongest I think you can, you've ever I think you can give this away. It's but the sun, right? Like it's the, the sun. The first issue deals yeah. with... You know. But you know, guys, that is like, that is one, one, that's one percent of what is great about the story, I think. That, so that, it'll be saying, 11 well, I'm, 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 issues. I'm, I'm, saying, I'm, saying, I'm saying that is a great plot twist. That he, like, you're right, okay. He tricks Superman into going into the sun and therefore almost killing him, or, or killing him, basically, or leading to, causing him to be led to his death. To get kind of cancerous cells. Yeah, and, and, and almost die. Back. But right? that is like such a minor part of this to me. The fact that he just, like for example, he brings Lois Lane to the Fortress of Solitude. And Lois Lane's like, well, where's your big giant key that you used to have? And he goes, oh, well now I've got this little key. And he goes, here, super, super try heavy. and pick it up. And she's like, oh. He goes, well, <laughs> it's made out of white dwarf matter, so it weighs 500 oh trillion tons. That's what I was saying and before. The, this is total nerd. But the thing is, though, it, <laughs> it, 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 that's why you're that right. only that's, 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 that's exactly this only why I don't Okay, like I want to know. We're talking too much. Sorry, no, why that's exactly like why I don't like it. Those those scenes where he's he's like, she tries to pick up, he's like, no, I made it so nobody else in the world but me can pick it up. And those little... Without yeah, that didn't... history, without that knowledge, no, and, and everything else. I understand else. that, but... Yeah, like, I, guess I, 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 I read that, the, all those comics, and then I also read what we're going to talk about next. In comparison, story-wise, and I, I enjoyed the other one way more. Way but more. didn't you, like, okay, when, when Superman makes a casual reference to Lois Lane and says, well, here's my pet uh, sun eater... I have to, it's feeding time, I have to feed it. Well, what are you going to feed it? Well, obviously, baby sons. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, just to me, those casual references to these giant ideas, like when he also says, I'm going to take you up to my museum. I've got, I used Brainiac's shrink ray to shrink down a sample of every endangered life form in the galaxy, and I put it in a single drawer. 
to me, I'm just saying those I, those things to me, those little casual references to these giant ideas. That's why I liked it, but I don't know. What George says is correct. For me, I don't read a lot of Superman, so for me, that was, didn't that really didn't do it well, for me. Do you like Superman <laughs> at all? Like, are you a fan? No. Well, the, that could be the, the problem. Okay, let's go to break. <laughs> Come right back, and then we're going to review a different book all together. To break. Okay. You are an inker. Yes, I am. Okay, and, uh, and how long have you been uh, in the industry? I've been in for about three years. Okay. So. What did you? What were some of your first assignments? First, my first assignment, I did some Superman, Batman pages, four pages from a book, and I did a couple of pages from Green Lantern Corps, issue 19. Do you mind if I ask how old you are? 25. Wow. Have you always drawn all your life, or were you always interested in comics, or did you start by drawing and then get into comics later? I started by drawing, and then I saw some people who were drawing comics, and it just looked like a really cool, fun thing to do. So. Do you read them as well? I, I read some of them, yeah. Like the, my own book, Green Lantern Corps, The Blackest Night. That was a really good series, and it was just really fun to read. And now, did you go to art school, or did you graduate from a university for this, or just was it just self-taught? Um, I, I did go to school. I went to Savannah College of Art and Design, but I, I really learned my trade under um, one of the anchors in the business, okay. and it was just it, it was really great hands-on stuff. And just going to conventions like this, asking for advice from different people in the industry. Can you tell us who that anchor was? Um, Dexter Vines. Okay. He worked on Marvel Civil War and okay. Amazing Spider-Man. I don't know. He's worked on a lot of Superman, Batman. He did. Okay. So. Well, your stuff looks incredible to me. Um, do you have any advice maybe for other people that are maybe also trying to break into the industry? Um, yes, go to conventions, ask questions, ask lots of questions, and don't give up. <laughs> now, if you don't mind me asking, um, what is it like working for DC Comics? Um, it's, it's been great. I, I came into the business thinking that editors were all grouchy and meat all the time, but you know what? They've, they've been really good. As long as you get the work in, um, they're, they're really great to work with. Now, what else? Do you have anything on the horizon that you'd like to talk about? Any upcoming projects or anything? Um, I've just been doing small stuff here and there until I get my next series, so I'm just waiting, just playing around, doing a little bit of my own stuff, stuff like that. Great. Do you have a dream project you'd like to eventually work on in the future, maybe? Um, I'm still working on that, still thinking about that. Oh, okay. But there's, there's been a lot of really awesome projects. And the Green Lantern Corps, The Blackest Night, has been a dream project to work on. It's been, it's been great. Comic Book Syndicate, assemble. Mm -hmm.